Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Okay everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to uh, analyze um, uh, automotive modules and how they are able to control the different components. This is the first part of um, uh, well, we have a series of videos that we're going to do, but in th th this particular one, controlling the fan, an a, a automotive uh, uh, fan module. So, um, with that in mind, the second part is going to touch, it's going to go deeper into the actual firmware or the flash, the reflashing of these modules and exactly how that's done uh, in software. Now, on screen, uh, we can see a, a typical module. Uh, now, we have to uh, mention one thing a module is a computer. Uh, the difference being is that it, between, say, a module and, and an ECM is that a module usually controls in automotive co uh, applications uh, one component at a time. So a module tends to control one um, piece of, uh, of hardware at a time, say, a, a motor, a solenoid, and so on and so forth. Not always, but this, this is the main difference between one and the other. But all in all, a module is a computer. Uh, in this particular case, we are going to be using a specific module, uh, which is not necessarily meant for automotive use, but can definitely be used for that. Uh, it's called the Arduino, uh, which is a very vast module that can actually, it's more like an ECM. It can be made to control multiple components with multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Now, Arduino is the name of a project. It's, it's pretty popular. It's been on for maybe 20 years by now. And so, but it's more uh, the name of a project, not necessarily the name of a chip or the name of any specific components. Uh, Arduinos use usually they use at mega microprocessors, uh, but not always. But it's again, it's a very it's a very vast module that can control multiple uh, components. Now, like any like any like any module, um, uh, a module has to be able to um, affect the logic. In other words, the on and off digital pulses but it also has to have a driver or a high power high current uh, transistor in this particular case we're going to be using the driver 100 which is one of our boxes that we actually uh, it can be made to control anything the driver 100 is specifically made to control um, motors uh, solenoids injectors and so on and so forth and that's what we're going to use on, on our video now, for sake of brevity and not to make this video too complicated, we're going to be using only one output. As you can see, there's a bunch of outputs, uh, digital outputs uh, on the Arduino. Uh, so we're going to be using pin number 13 and ground. And that's exactly what's going to trigger the driver 100 module to be able to control. Uh, the, 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 we're going to use a small motor, but that's make believe that this is going to be the fan motor. The first step is pretty much to uh, start uh, the attachments uh, uh, um, from the driver 100 uh, to the Arduino board. Again, in this case, we're going to be using pin 13 and ground uh, to attach the driver 100 to the uh, Arduino board. And finally, we attach the motor to the driver 100 board, so that that's the one that's actually going to uh, uh, that's going to create the output, the high current output to drive the motor. Now, on screen, we we can see the screen with the actual software that we're going to be using to control the the motor. We're not going to go too deep into it. This is going to be part two of the, of the video, but we're at least we're going to show you that uh, by changing the um, um, the firmware which is called the flash in automotive uh, components it's called the the, re the reflash when this is what this is the actual reflash whenever we, we, we reflash a computer in an automotive uh, um, in automotive uh, applications we, the reflashing is going to be this guy here that we're doing right now this particular flash software is going to be it is the one that's going to make the uh, the motor turn on and off at a slower um, interval uh, the second part is going to be we're going to change the, fla the flashing uh, firmware to, uh, 
to uh, to make the, the motor turn on and off faster. Now on screen, without uh, going too deep into it, uh, we we are changing the flash firmware uh, to make the uh, the motor turn on and off a little bit faster. Now this has been a video that, that goes into the modules, uh, automotive uh, control modules and how we can actually affect the same using an Arduino board uh, just to show you the actual mechanism involved um, in, in controlling components in, in, in automobiles. Next video we're going to go deeper into, into this how, um, into the, the reflash uh, software and how it works. This has been a video on automotive module control. And uh, thank you for being with us, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.